Hi, my name is Tara Catalo, and I am going to go over my audio design and implementation within this Unreal Engine FPS game project. This project is originally from a Udemy course that I completed a few months ago, and I am excited to show you what I've added to it since. Let's take a listen. Alright, let's go over the footsteps first. So I have a bunch of different footstep wave files in here. They're all connected to a random node as well as a modulator node. Now this modulator node does also have a little bit of pitch variance as well, but it's a pretty simple system. I wanted to make sure that each footstep sounded very similar but wasn't exactly the same every single time the player stepped on the cement. So in terms of where these footsteps are located in the game project, it is in an animation sequence, which is arms underscore aim underscore walk. And you can see I have a notify in here for the footsteps. There's two of them. There's no actual legs for the character, so I kind of had to base it on the arm movement here. So you can see as the arm goes down, that's when we have our footsteps, because that's probably when we'd be taking a step. And you can see here, I have FPS footsteps. There it is right there. It's a sound cue, not a sound wave. So it's pulling from all of these options here when doing this notify. I do also want to briefly go over the explode function that I have here for the drone. Um, you can see the play sound at location here. I do have attenuation settings as well so that the sound cue will adjust its volume based on the distance of the drone itself to the player location. Some other sounds you might have heard were the pickup sounds. So I have a sound for the health pickup as well as the ammo pickup. And this is a pretty basic uh, implementation. I just did a play sound 2D node for both of them because you cannot hear the sound unless you are very close to the asset anyway. So the play sound 2D node works perfectly for this. Next, I want to talk about the quartz system that I implemented into the game. I do have a couple of different music cues in this project. So we have an arrangement switching um right here and i have two arrangements so if i go up here you'll see i have arrangement a and arrangement b now arrangement a is the orchestral version so this is kind of the bass arrangement if you will and then arrangement b is the electronic version now these switch depending on a couple of factors. If the drones in the project are just patrolling neutral, then you will be hearing arrangement A. Once you shoot the drone and it goes aggro, or you are within its proximity where it also goes aggro, that's when arrangement B will be subbed in. Next up is the failure transition. This is when you actually lose all of your health in the game and you end up with a you lose or game over type of uh, state. So when we have the failure transition, I just have a create sound 2D and it's FPS defeat. And I just have all of the fun quartz stuff here. Next up is the success transition. Um, I am still trying to figure out how to make this a bit more seamless in terms of the harmonic content of the main arrangements, but we do have an array here of different harmonic endings that I created. So we have one per key that is heard in the arrangements itself and basically some conditions and branches and whatnot just to make sure that everything works out properly. We have the fade out, so it fades out either arrangement A or arrangement B, depending on which one's playing at the time. When it fades out, there's a tiny bit of a delay, and that's when you will hear the success transition music play. Now you're probably wondering where exactly all of this lives. So I do have it in a couple different spots. We have a on component begin overlap, and this is when the player actually overlaps a collision sphere that makes the drone go aggro. So this is move to goal target, which is up here. 
So we actually changed the color of the team color to red. So that makes it quote unquote aggro and the music swap will happen from there. If we go down here a bit, we will see that when the drone actually moves to the goal target after being hit by a bullet, that's when we will go ahead and do a music swap. Another spot where we have the music swapping happen is actually within the explode function for the drones. So as soon as you actually kill the drone, it'll swap back. What we have here is a bit of a branch. So if the actors of the class after it's been destroyed, if it is greater than zero, then it will be false. And then it will do the music swap that I showed you earlier. If slash when it ends up zero after destroy actor, so you kill the last drone, there's no more drones for the actors, equals zero, conditions true, and then we will start the success transition instead. All right, next is the failure transition. I have it in the FPS character blueprint in the event graph. So basically when we have damage that is taken, where our health is less than or equal to zero, that's when we will go ahead and change the game mode to be player died game mode. And then we do the failure transition after that. So by now, I bet you are dying to see and hear it in action. So here we go. One amazing thing about being a dev is seeing things that you could make better within a actual function and implementation. So within that playtest that I just did, I realized that this is still queuing up even though we had the failure transition happen. So I could always add another check here to see if the player health is greater than zero and then we can do the success transition. And then if not, then we don't even queue this up at all. I also noticed the success transition was a little bit too delayed, so I might play test it a little bit more and adjust the delay amount to where it feels more seamless. Again, this is something that I am going to keep refining over time, and I might do an updated version of this once I have even more optimizations put into place. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this is insightful to those of you who are interested, especially when it comes to learning how to implement audio in these kinds of projects. I hope you all have a nice day.